Welcome. Good evening. Well, as you saw earlier in the programme, a real pressure on water resources in parts of the UK. And if you're desperate for rain this week, the real villain of the piece is our jet stream. A ribbon of fast-flowing air way up in the atmosphere directs weather systems our way. Problem is, at the moment, it's forming this snaking pattern across the Atlantic. And when it does that, it's called an omega block. Difficult to break down, and that affects what's at the surface. What you've got at the surface like to stay about for some length of time. With it looping to the north of the UK, we've got high pressure, not just through tonight into the morning, bringing in some rather chilly and misty conditions, but it's going to be about all week. So for virtually the whole of the UK, it's going to be a dry week, warm by day, but some good variations in temperatures, chilly and misty nights still in store. And a chilly and quite misty start to tomorrow morning. Fog at its thickest across northeast England, some areas of mist and fog elsewhere, and there will be some low cloud through the Midlands, producing a grey start here, same too through parts of Devon and Cornwall. But most of that will clear away, just one or two mist and fog patches to eastern coast. And really for most of the story into the afternoon is the temperature. So we'll take a look at the temperature map across the UK for tomorrow. A bit of a breeze along the English Channel, that may limit temperatures exactly on the coast. Same tune to eastern coasts of England where it's been rather chilly through today. But if anything here and the southeast temperatures will be a few degrees up on what we saw this afternoon. Elsewhere across England and Wales, we're looking at highs around 19 to 21 degrees in many spots, maybe a 20 in the north of Northern Ireland. Today we reached 22.8, a uh, new March record in Scotland across Aberdeenshire. Could get even higher than that through Monday afternoon, although to the coast, still the risk of some mist and fog patches. Stay with the temperature profile through tomorrow night into Monday morning. The warm yellows replaced by cooler greens, like we're going to see through this week, big drops in temperature from the warmth by day. Risk, increasing risk at times of some frost, particularly away from some of the major towns and cities. We've still got high pressure weather though into Tuesday and if anything it's right over us. We've got a subtle uh, easterly flow pushing in through southern areas and that could bring in some further mist and sea fog to start the day and maybe still close to some eastern and southern coast. But away from that, early morning mist and fog patches and there's going to get fewer of them as the week goes on will quickly clear and it's almost a case of sunshine UK wide into the afternoon with temperatures again climbing to between 19 and 21 degrees in one or two spots. Now, Wednesday doesn't hold much in the way of change. If anything, the winds fall a little bit lighter, so we'll get some in situ mist and fog patches forming. Not too many of them. Could still be the risk of some low cloud towards some eastern coast. And then later in the day, thicker cloud to the far north of Scotland across the Northern Ireland, bringing a spot or two of light rain or drizzle. But still warm in the sunshine. Temperatures still high teens, maybe low 20s. Then from Wednesday onwards, subtle changes. A high starts to work its way further westwards. It allows northwesterly airflow, and these weather fronts getting close to the north of Scotland doesn't bring much in the way of rain, just some light rain or drizzle, particularly for the Northern Ireland, Northern Isles and the north of the mainland. Temperatures dropping to 10, 11 degrees here, and a bit more cloud later in the day further north, but really most another sunny day with highs into the low 20s in the south, where it's starting to get a bit warmer in that northwesterly airflow for a time. The winds become a bit stronger on Friday and far north, again with the risk of some light rain or drizzle, and gradually we'll start to bring a bit more cloud across Across some northern and western areas, so temperatures dropping back closer to the norm. Still reasonably warm in that southeast.